The XBYS sequence generator is a component that generates an emery sequence of Y symbols from a binary sequence of X bits. The component can be used for PAM and QAM formats. Standard PAM formats encode a sequence of bits to an individual symbol, such that the number of bits per symbol is an integer. This results in the number of levels used being equal to a power of 2 value, as demonstrated for ASK, PAM4, and PAM8 systems. Other formats of PAM are possible, such as PAM3 and PAM6, but these systems require a different approach for encoding. Standard PAM formats can be fully described using the number of bits per symbol, represented as M. A lookup table is then used to map the M bits to an individual symbol, for a total of 2 to the power of M symbols. An example for PAM8 is shown. Other PAM formats require two values to define, the number of bits per sequence, represented by X, and the number of symbols per sequence, represented by Y. The lookup table for these systems maps a sequence of bits to a sequence of symbols. An example for the PAM3 format using 3B2T coding is displayed, where the bit sequence 110 is mapped to the symbol sequence 10. The number of unique symbols used is defined by the lookup table, which is 3 in this case, negative 1, 0, and positive 1. The XBYS sequence generator parameters are displayed in the window on the right. The parameters X bits and Y symbols are automatically calculated for the current format and do not require user input. The parameter lookup table file name holds the file where the lookup table is contained. The component will automatically calculate X and Y from this. The parameter lookup table holds the current lookup table, which can be viewed by the user. The parameter qualm can be enabled to allow two output ports to be used instead of one to align with two-dimensional coding formats. This example displays the use of the XBYS sequence generator and decoder components. We first input the lookup table file used, then we can display it with the parameter lookup table. Here, we will use the 3B2T coding scheme. The values for X bits and Y symbols have automatically been extracted, and are 3 and 2, respectively. This simulation uses 24 bits. Since we encode 3 bits for every 2 symbols, we can see that the expected 16 symbols are in the output sequence. Additionally, we can see that 3 unique symbols are output, which implies that the sequence generator can be used in a PAM3 system.